California's young athletes can hit the fields for competition again after a major announcement today. Youth sports are back. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Carlo Chiquetta. I'm Marcella Lee and for Barbara Lee Edwards. Governor Gavin Newsom has eased guidelines allowing all outside sports to resume next Friday in counties with fewer than 14 COVID cases per 100,000 people. According to state officials, San Diego's case rate is 15.6, though county officials say we're higher than that right now. Either way, as News 8's Shannon Handy reports, the games could start back up soon. Carlo and Marcella, there is a discrepancy between county and state numbers, but county officials say they are working to clarify. Either way, we are not at a 14, but local coaches I spoke with say if things keep going the way they have been, we will be by next week. And we are now confident with new guidelines that we're publishing today that we could get youth sports moving again in the state of California. Governor Newsom's announcement Friday sent shockwaves throughout the entire state as athletes, coaches, and parents learned all outdoor competitive sports can resume next Friday in counties where the case rate is at 14 or below. After 11 months of no hope and disappointment and loss, uh, this is the most excited I've seen members of my football team since March of 2020. Marlon Gardinera is a head football coach at Scripps Ranch High School. He's played an active role in a statewide push called Let Them Play. <laughs> holding rallies and news conferences asking the governor to ease restrictions on competitive sports. While these new guidelines are a step in the right direction, rules still apply. For high contact sports such as football, water polo and rugby, players 13 and older must be tested once a week with results available 24 hours before competition. The state will pay for those tests. For other sports like baseball, no testing required but face coverings and social distancing should quote be implemented to the greatest extent possible. Despite the fact that we have less than 7,000 reported cases today and had 24,000 reported cases 30 days ago, Despite those facts, those very encouraging trends, we still need to be cautious until we reach herd immunity. As for the case rate threshold, according to state officials, San Diego sits at 15.6, so county officials say it's actually higher than that. Either way, is it possible to get to 14 by next week? Torrey Pines High School football coach Ron Gladnick seems to think so. So at the rate things are going, we expect to be at or below the 14 case threshold in a way that we can start obviously next Friday. Governor Newsom's new guidelines do not allow for indoor sports in purple or red tiers. That's something local coaches and athletes are continuing to fight for. Thanks, Shannon. Tonight, players, they're just happy to have a chance to be back on the field. We talked to local student Luke Durkin, the quarterback at Scripps Ranch High School, currently in his last season before going off to college. When we got the official word today, I was just ecstatic and pumped for the team. The energy of Friday nights, especially at Scripps Ranch, but I know all, all across the county, the energy is just unreal on Fridays. And hopefully, maybe there's a little, maybe parents are allowed in, maybe fans are allowed in. I don't know. We'll see about the guidelines. But either way, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be fun to get back out there and just one final time with the guys. Luke says he's looking forward to having sports back, giving him and his team something to do offline and on campus to round out their senior year.